When students are learning through the arts, they are problem solving, they are collaborating, um, they're working with empathy and compassion. I've seen whole classes um, come together and strengthen as a unit because of a Red House project that they were working on. A lot of the kids will say it's fun and they can't really define it, but they figured out that they get an alternate way to learn. They figured out that they're getting other tools and tactics that they're not getting in the classroom. They're also developing a lot of coping mechanisms. We are dealing with a lot of behavior issues and a lot of issues stemming from not having de-escalation techniques, and we're helping to provide those. One thing that Porter is doing is they are using us a little more for additional help, just taking the extra time. You know what, today I need you to read this book with a small group. Great, let's go read with a small group and then tomorrow we can spend the time dancing. Or today I need a, the teacher needs to, general ed teacher needs to work with a small group and we just take a bigger group to go and do a Red House activity. I've been extremely lucky that I've been here for three years and that I have those relationships built with the kids. But it's not just the kids anymore, it's the adults too. Most of the challenges I encountered had to do with keeping an entire class engaged while also pinpointing individual behaviors. But I think really the key to fixing all of the problems and challenges I had before was just relationship building and just the time that I've been here. I now have my students trust. I love the kids. I, I couldn't imagine leaving my, my one kid who comes to me every afternoon and is like, can I just have a snack? It's my kid that I just need a hug. And um, I've developed a lot of really good relationships and I'm currently working on my master's through a partnership with Lemoyne and Red House so that I can stay longer. I'm learning about dancing because that's what we're going to do. So we have to make up our own dance. It's helping me because it's learning it's teaching us how to do some stuff better. It makes me feel good because it's fun and it makes me happy. And this is what I want to do and I want to continue to further arts-based learning and I want to continue to strengthen arts in communities and it is a fact that I would not have found that without Red House, Syracuse, and Porter. What, what we do is very is vital. What we do is vital to any community but particularly in a low, lower performing community. We actually have seen the kids get better. We've seen test scores improved. This school, um, this school last year improved 2.3%. And that's huge. That's amazing that kids are improving. You have to put some of that credit, you have to give some of that credit to the teachers and the teaching fellows and what they've done. They've helped give the kids a reason to learn again.